Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, we're going to be flipping through this beautiful book, which I'm sure is kind of glary for you. Sorry about that. Um, this is a lovely Japanese coloring book that I don't know the exact title of, but I've seen it called um, Stroll Through the Garden, um, Cat's Stroll. Um, so that's what I'm calling it. I'm gonna call it Cat's Stroll Through the Garden. <laughs> So I hope that's close, and if anybody knows the exact title, let me know down below. Um, this is published by the company Cosmic Mook, or Mook, and I don't know. Um, I, I went to try to order a couple of other books from this company, and um, the lovely lady on Etsy that I was ordering from let me know that they no longer make this. So I'm not sure what's going on with this um, publisher, but I hope that they make more because these coloring books are really nice. Um, I believe the artists, there's a couple different artists in here. So one is Keiko Katagiri and I want to say Tanya, but I don't know if that's correct, um, with friends. So I think that there's several artists, but definitely two for sure. So that's really, really cute and I really love it. So let's get started. This has a lovely, um, dust jacket on it. And then a white, bright white cover that you can color if you prefer to not have the dust jacket. And then we open it up. And it's about the same size as a um, Johanna Basford book as well. Um, oh, goodness, excuse me. Um, similar in size as well to um, Aries books. So this is a beautiful title page. I love it so much. And then we kind of get right into, you know what? I need to adjust the camera. I'm so sorry. Hang on a second. Okay, just a slight adjustment. I wanted to make sure that you were able to see the whole thing. So here we have this beautiful garden scene with the little kitty cats sprinkled throughout. Some more garden stuff. A garden shed. I love this side too as well. It's got the nice little frame, beautiful flowers everywhere, and this lovely little scene here in the center. So then we have this beautiful page. I just think it's just a lovely, lovely illustrated book. And you can kind of see this style is a little bit different than what we've seen so far. Um, and that does change throughout the book too. So <clears throat> here's the kitty cat and a little little toy mouse down there and all this beautiful flourish and fun a little bit of a kitchen scene I love this one this is so cute with all the strawberries everywhere and this beautiful cat this one's really cute too I'm gonna be saying that a lot sorry <laughs> cute picnic scene a little bit close up lovely It'd be nice to draw in some ants in here as well they've got a bee but you need some ants right they're always at your picnic um this is a i was <laughs> it took me a second to realize what this was but then i saw that there was a duck and so this is like a river and then this is all the beautiful greenery and stuff around the side of it i thought that was really pretty once i realized what it was this is gorgeous that's really beautiful. Some essential oils, um, uh, diffuser, all that stuff. Really pretty. Some candles, some embroidery. And then this is a really pretty embroidery design, which I think is gorgeous. Some more sewing. Very abstract tree and sun and path. It's cute. This one I love too. It's so cute. Lots of different birds. <clears throat> I like this one again. I love these flowers and the umbrella. I really can't wait to color in it. Okay, so now here is a very distinct change from one page to the next. So you've got this page here all the delicate florals and the delicate drawings and cats and then this line this page has nice bold um very cute um mm, it's like folk art kind of art i guess 
I guess. that We'll go with that. We'll go with folk arty kind of stuff. So I just think that's really cute. And then back to your really elegant, um, delicate line art. And there's a dog in here in this one. I think that's the only dog in this book. Um, this picture is featured quite a bit. And then this is the big version of the picture. But isn't that the same one that the cat was looking at before? Oh no, it's separate. It's a different picture. And then the big, that's interesting. I Before I just kind of, um, is it the same table though? Yeah, it's the same table. There's cute little stuffed animals down at the bottom, but different stuff on the top. Maybe it just changes with the seasons because there's different flowers and things in there. I don't know. It's cute. Whatever it is, it's cute. Here's another one that's like very folk arty. I like this little cat right here. Swimming with all of the underwater creatures. Back to the delicate lines. I really like this bird page. I think this is really cute. Danny, I'm sorry. If, or Danielle, if you're watching, I, <laughs> don't look at that page. I think it's adorable though. Um, this is really cute. All the lemon stuff. I really like this page too. This is another one. It's got lots of sea creatures and just like this whole tropical scene, which is really adorable. Some cactuses, succulents, art. That's cute. Yeah, and then this one is super different. <laughs> this one is um, a really nice black background. I think it'll be really pretty once it's colored in, but it the eyes on the animals kind of freak me out. But then we're back to these other really delicate ones, which I love. This one's really cute with all the animals in the tree. Love this one too. All the little mice and the squirrel and the bunny. I love this farm scene and there's some, it's very fall because there's, you know, pumpkins and it's different gourds and things like that. Super cute. Lots of sewing stuff in here too. I don't mind. It's really cute still. I love this little cabinet bookshelf thing. That's really adorable. This one is my favorite page. <laughs> I love all of the sweets and cupcakes and just fruit and donuts and candy. It's beautiful. Love it. Really like this one with all the different kinds of cats. That'd be a fun one to do if you really want to practice doing different cat furs and designs. And yeah, that'd be really pretty. Here's another one that's very, very distinct art style. So this is a, a cat right here, this more white area. And then you've got a bird here. Interesting. I really like this stained glass window. I think that's really pretty. I like this one too, this little carnival fantasy land or fantastic land is what it's called. There's another one with all different fairy tales. There's the the Three Bears, the Nutcracker, uh, Red Riding Hood, the Musicians of Bremen, all kinds of fun stuff. And this one's really cute too. This would be fun to do in all those um, beautiful colors from like Coco, the movie Coco. So pretty. I don't know what that is, but that's really pretty too. Oh, it's like an Indian... Um, design. That's beautiful. So this must be like all of their world travel stuff. That's really neat. And sketches from their different places that they've been. And then back home again in the garden. This one's interesting too. I think it would be neat. I love that there's a whale in the sky though. I didn't see that before. More garden does look like the cat's walking through some snow now so now it's and there's like snow on the leaves and the flowers so this must be moving into like Christmassy times beautiful 
love this one too. I love that the design is coming out of the artwork that the person has done and then it's spilling onto this page. So cute. Yep, and then in the back you've got all of these, um, the pages here, so it tells you who did what. Looks like, um, yeah. I might use my translate. See, and down the back here, on the back of the jacket cover, it does list all of these books, but um, I might have to see if I can try to find a few of those. I have this one. Um, and what's the other one I have? I think I tried to order this one and it wasn't in anymore. I can't remember. I think I have this one coming. I'm hoping. So, um, yeah, this is, this would be a great page to do your tests to, to test your materials and see how they work. So, yeah, and then on the back, you've got um, another lovely design that you can color in if you'd like to. This would be a really pretty book colored in. It's the same design that's on the back cover of the um, dust jacket. So that's it. Um, I hope that you liked this beautiful book, the what I'm calling <laughs> Cat's Stroll Through the Garden. Um yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will link this book down below. I did get this from Amazon. Um, it wasn't the cheapest book, but I, I just went for it and really, really enjoy it. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this today and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.